Welcome to 4x4. We are the result of 4 billion years of evolution. In this show, I'll be giving you four little nuggets of information from the past and the present. Help you decide if we are the pinnacle of evolution or should we bring back natural selection? couple from Jacksonville, Florida, who just recently got arrested for selling golden tickets to heaven. What they would do is they'd take two by fours, spray paint them gold, black marker, ticket to heaven. Tell people that when they died, all they had to do was present it to God, and he'd let them right into heaven, all sins forgiven. It was a sale price of $99.99. Now, like I said, they did get arrested, but they did a raid on their house. They found $10,000, a bunch of crack, crack pipes, and a baby alligator. Now, when Tito was arrested, he said that Jesus gave him the gold bars from behind Taco Bell and that he could prove it. He'd be willing to wear a wire so he could set up Jesus. There's only two things I got to say about this. One, good job. $10,000 selling two by fours. I mean, $10,000 plus crack expenses. That's expensive. And with the stuff going on in your face, I mean, that's some salesmanship there, buddy. I mean, I want you as an agent. I mean, heck, I wrote two books and I made nowhere near that. So well done on that. The only problem I have with you is you're willing to roll on Jesus. Okay, Jesus tells you to do something, you keep it on the DL. I mean, really, what are you going to do? Go into witness protection? Who's going to take that job of protecting you? Medieval times, people with leprosy were usually shunned, but the nuns and female saints would help care for them. Now, to show devotion and in extreme acts of holiness, they would lick the pus of the inflicted and eat their scabs. Now, if you think that's disgusting, have you seen two girls in a cup? Jesus Christ, probably heard the name, kind of a famous guy. Well, interestingly enough, his birth name isn't Jesus, it's Yeshua. But what happened as Christianity started to go through the Roman Empire, Romans had a hard time with that SH sound. So they changed it to an S. And also they thought it sounded a little too feminine. And what do Romans do when they think something's too feminine? They add a US to the end of it. So he changed, from, went from Yeshua to Jesus. Which actually stuck for a long time until about the 18th century when people were like, oh, we don't really like the Y, we're going to change it to a J. So he actually went from Jesus, Yeshua to Jesus, which actually isn't too bad of a name. Could have been worse. Wait, I'm no missionary. I don't even believe in Jeebus. Let me out. Sorry, no can do. <laughs> So, in medieval times, going out to eat was kind of a risk because they didn't really use plates too much. And what they would do is they had wooden tables with little bowl shapes hollowed out, and you'd sit down and they would slop on the daily special. They didn't know too much about foodborne illnesses, so they just kind of wiped it off and figured, eh. So, what commonly occurred was people would get things known as trench mouth, which is just messed up looking mouth. I can tell you, I'm glad that doesn't have run today. That does it for this episode of 4x4. If you'd like to get a free copy of my book, you can click the link below or go to www.celeptium.com. And remember, you were the result of 4 billion years of evolution. 
So make the most of it.